where'd you guys go? Oh, there's some low marks. But um, also H Mart, I was saying that I want to go there to get the gloves. Sorry, I splashed water on you. Get the gloves and then also get more cabbage because I ran out of kimchi. Um, I showed you guys on the couple of vlogs ago that I made kimchi. And I don't like, I don't like store-bought kimchi. I, I never buy kimchi from the store because I don't know when they have made it. But when I make it, I know that it's fresh kimchi. And like I said, when I make it, it doesn't smell because it's actually the fermentation of the cabbage that makes kimchi really smell bad. So the longer it's sitting, the longer the cabbage is sitting into that chili paste, then the more smell it will have. And I always just keep, even though we don't finish the kimchi, I don't ever have bad kimchi or old kimchi. I, I shouldn't say bad because I have heard that kimchi lasts in the fridge forever. But I only keep it maximum five days. Like I'll put a date on the cap kind of thing or um, sometimes I use my timer. My, my phone is my everything. I'll have an alarm in there and then it'll go off and then it'll say kimchi bad. Or if I'm making something and then I say, okay, three days, three or three days in the fridge is like max. Then it says enchilada bad. All right, well, I'm done with my dishes. Um, Danica's ready to go. We're going to go see her teacher in about 15, 20 minutes. So maybe we'll see you guys at the school. <gasps> Aloha, friends. Okay, so I'm going to make... Um, I don't know what she's making. What are you making? Just a ham and then we have guac. Guac only. I thought we had like lettuce or something like that. Oh, there's a salad mix, isn't there? Should I just use that? Oh, I threw out the salad. Yeah. I threw out the salad. I'm making grilled cheese. The secret to grilled cheese is lots of cheese, but also um, sourdough bread. So we have... We have Seattle sourdough bread. We're gonna have a salad? No, I'm gonna put it into a bread. So it's a sandwich. Oh. And then also like um, cheddar, like sharp cheddar or medium cheddar, and then mix it with another kind of cheese. So I have the Beecher's flagship. This is like my go-to, go-to. Oh my gosh, I love this cheese. So without this cheese, I'm gonna be like, because I love this in wine and cheese and crackers. but. Love, love this. So I don't know if it's also sold somewhere else um, outside of Washington. But if you guys have ever flown an Alaska Airlines flight, they use um, they use features cheese, and then they use a sharp cheddar. I think on their tray, like the fruit tray. I always ooh. we always have the fruit tray, and then they have this and sharp cheddar, and then crackers, and then a truffle candy, uh, chocolate, and then uh, grapes, and then apples. And then also, I am also using another Beecher's because we love our Beecher's. We buy it over at, um, we buy it over at Costco. So this big one is 1.40 pounds, and then it's $14.83. This one is $15.11, it's 1.44. And this one is the Marco Polo features, Marco Polo. This one is not so good to me um, as far as like a... Hold on, let's go show our friends. Mm. Look, friends. Look, look at her. I gotta unplug this. Mm. Danielle is toasting a sourdough when it goes down. Mm. And, then he's gonna, and then she's gonna flip it. All right. Anywho, <laughs> anywho, anywho, okay, what was I doing? Oh, the secret is sourdough and then like two, at least two different kinds of cheese, but three different cheese slices is best, like very cheesy. Oh, you know what? I also have a medium cheddar. I'm going to add that. Yeah, you can put that one up. And then sourdough bread. So I get butter, butter. I keep my butter in the counter. Okay, and then, because I don't put too much, ooh, I should, I should not talk anymore and use my um, chopsticks. 
chop off my cheese. But um, as I was saying, this one, not so good as far as like with cheese and cracker and wine because it has more of like pepper, but the beaters is really good to me, my own preference. And then warm up your pan. Oh, this would be so good too with the Costco basil and tomato soup. Oh my goodness. I don't have that though. Next time I should get that. But um, block cheese is not the same as this cheese. So block cheese is better, more healthier than the processed cheese. I don't know why. But that's what I've heard. Could be wrong. I've always thought it was just the same. Okay. My pan is warming up. And then, so I'm done with that cheese. Now I gotta open this cheese. We always have kitchen scissors that I buy over at the Dollar Tree. And they work pretty well. All right, friends, so let's go ahead and get started. Now this is the side that has the butter, but I wanted to toast that side as well. So we'll start with a layer of the Marco Polo cheese, which is a little bit of cracked pepper. And then make sure that we get plenty of that. And then I put on new gloves. These are my cooking gloves. I don't like how it's blue. I don't know. It just makes me feel like it's surgical gloves. <laughs> but lots of cheese. Let's add, this is hubby. So let's just add a little bit more this way. Okay. Hubby is here trying to grab his lunch, but it's not ready. Babe, do I make good grilled cheese? Yes, you do. But this is high in cholesterol. You're going to skip on it? No, it's not high in cholesterol. But it's cheese. It's good. Cheese is good. Cholesterol. Good cheese is good? Yes. Hubby, every yes. time someone open up the salad so she can use it in her sandwich. It's one of those uh, and then I'll eat the rest lunch. Later. Like all in one. Yeah, two times in a row. Is it a pretty cool video? Of what? The video Jonathan sent yesterday. Yeah, she's been sending gif. gifts. Show me. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah. Let's watch it together. It's a long one. All right, and then I cut up some Cosmic Crisp apples, and then look at this cheesiness. Look at those. Look at that. Three different kinds of cheese for hubby. Okay, so that's his lunch, and now I gotta make three more. 20 minutes later, friends, and I'm still making grilled cheese. That's what happens when you have six kids. Oh wait, I only have four. Six of us. <laughs> Alright, now this one is mine. My hubby's gonna eat half. <laughs> I'm gonna have mine with just um, apples. Alright, you got your mask on? <laughs> I got my mask on. Hubby, no mask. Not yet. Not yet. But we're gonna go and see her teacher for the very first time, Danica. Are you excited? Yeah, I wonder if it's a long line. Oh, yep, yeah, there's lots of parents. All right, there they are. So there's the teacher. So it's a special slot time for the uh, Danica's grade. Ooh. Aw, so that the kids can see the teachers. That's nice. Oh, oh, my look God. at your bag, okay, honey? Hang on. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we're, we're here for Miss She's like, it's me. It's me. Well, Danica, look at your holiday headband. Yeah? I couldn't, shouldn't be surprised. Should I? <laughs> you want to give her your gift? Oh, and yeah. look at your mask, too. Your hi, gift darling, is always. It's Mrs. Davis. Hi. Oh, oh my gosh, hi. You see Miss Davis? I didn't know yeah, you were going to be here, too. Forward. Oh. Yeah. You want to pull all the way up to yeah. where it says buses only? Sure. Welcome up there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all the cars are gone all of a sudden. I thought it was just the kindergarten teacher. Right. Oh, okay. Danica, okay. stand up. Look at yeah. that. I know so you'll do a good job waiting until we need it. <laughs> Thank you. I know she looks darling and 
person doesn't see you. <laughs> just like on stage. This is Miss Davis. Yeah. Yes, I get to see you. Very good to see you. What are you guys up to on this sunny day besides coming here? They're going to go for a walk with the siblings. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Good choice. You're really good. beautiful. Oh. Wow. All the moms even got Valentine's Day. Yeah. Got oh, it was nice it. to see you guys. Yeah, you too. <laughs> good right, have a good day, day honey. Tomorrow. Okay. Okay, Danica. <laughs> Bye. All right. Have fun outside. Okay. <laughs> we'll make some. Shopping. All right, Danica. You want to go get your present for Jack so we yeah. can walk it to his door. One of our neighbors is uh, four years old, uh -huh. and look, she got an uh, advent calendar. And you know what the blinking is? That friend. Jack. Yeah. No. I, no. No. The blinking. Oh. That's it. Oh yeah. It's huh. a Jack bike. Oh, it's his bike. It's his bike. It's a scooter. Yeah, right? He rides his scooter up and down the his driveway. Whoa! Ooh. All right, let's go. Bye. Dad, do you be my Valentine? Say yes? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm watering plants that I kept into the garage because of the cold weather. So I got this from our freezer downstairs. I'm gonna cook this, but I'm not gonna add the uh, added veggies. Do me a favor, Danny. Can you turn off the faucet if it's almost full? And then I'm also gonna add uh, bok choy. And then also maybe two packages of this for the chicken. Oh no no no! Yeah, go ahead and turn it off. Um, I have the rotisserie chicken from Costco, but I like to get these, and they haven't had this in a while because this is perfect just to put into the fridge. And how really like individually packed they are for salad, quesadilla, nachos, uh, for the kids, or like just to add on to something. And then this one is amazing. Yeah, I told Danny, Danny, we got another one of these Bao Asian style steam buns over at Costco. I think they are $11. Danny, can you open this? It's your favorite, huh? Mm -hmm. I need scissors. Oh no, I think it just slides out. Oh. Yeah. There is, I think, 12 for $11. So a dollar a piece. You can't beat that. And it's really good. Like, the filling is really good. Really, really good. And then when you microwave it, I always tell the girls to wet a paper towel and then put it over and then microwave it for a minute. Okay? You're going to have some? Right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. One or two? One. One? Okay. Ask Danielle, too. She likes those. That's a nice day out. So after Jonathan Zoo... Um, I told the big kids to take the the little one for a walk around the neighborhood and maybe we'll go with them. I know I don't know. Sometimes I like the kids just to spend time with themselves, so you know, so they reminder. Um for the walk. But because the kids age gap is so so big that they are pretty close, especially the two big girls. Um Danielle's like another 12 year old but that's another story friends but uh oh but last year they hated each other this year oh no not not last year 2020 they love they love each other I think it's because COVID-19 they're forced to stay with each other the year prior 2019 they hated each other because we're talking about like a high schooler and a and a an elementary but she's like sixth grade elementary two years ago this year and last year BFFs forever. Jonathan's always good with the girls because he's the oldest and he has a lot of patience compared to the girls. And then and then I made um, Danica room in with Danielle because Danielle was actually supposed to go to the dorm and then I gave um, Danielle's room to Danica but uh, they ended up rooming together so that's why she calls her roomie if you guys ever hear that. Danny, Danielle used to be aggravated sometimes with Danica and Danica used to be aggravated with, with Danielle because again, sometimes with the age gap, but now they're best friends forever. That's why I like when girls room together or if I had two boys, I'd have them room together. It just gives them that good uh, sibling connection because I room with my siblings um, even when I was in high school. Hold on. But anywho, Anywho, um, I wanted to show you guys my other babies because spring and summer, my my babies is not Louie, it's my garden. So I started gardening last year because of COVID and I think that's how I got like um, hurt on my knee and then my arm. 
um, because of pressure with the gardening and, and such and lifting. Anywho, but I wanted to show you that my babies are popping up. My babies! My babies are being born! Back in November, um, November I planted, um, I planted, what do you call that? These are alliums. Is it aliums? They're popping up. So I have them here and I think there. And then I have tulips. Where's my tulips at? Oh, tulips are over there. Nope, those are also a aliums. See? And then, but over here, over here is, this is my, um, my, what do you call that? Passion fruit, my lily koi. So, look at that, it's growing. Okay, and then, my hydrangeas, I love hydrangeas, so I've planted them everywhere. And then I also have a fuchsia there. And, but these are my hyacinth. So this is the big mama hyacinth right here, but if you guys see, oh babies oh my goodness someone's eating my babies Ugh, those rabbits <sighs> okay i gotta make sure to protect this so maybe i can buy i don't need to buy those dollar um netting like baskets i'll put that in there so that the rabbit all right friends i just made lunch now i'm gonna make dinner <sighs> telling you okay but because lunch was pretty heavy i think I'm just gonna make this and I'm not gonna use it comes with these vegetable hydration things I don't use that one I don't like to use that let me move you a bit Ooh. and then what I am going to use is I freeze my organic piece piece organic peas and then I have vegetable oil into the pot I'm gonna add my garlic and then I also freeze my um, carrots um, from Trader Joe's because I also use it in um, fried rice. So I'm going to I'm not going to use a what do you call that? Like a metal <laughs> because apparently it bangs a lot on camera so I'm just gonna put like half a teaspoon of garlic and then also my um I cut up some bok choy I love bok choy okay so there's the garlic I'm gonna go ahead and add the carrots frozen carrots and then also the peas I guess I could have done the peas first but no worries. They will all taste the same. Okay. And then I'm just gonna saute that. You guys see? Mm. I thought I could put you guys there, but I guess not. Alright, so while that one is sauteing, okay, I'm just gonna cook that for a bit. Garlic, olive oil, and then the peas and the carrots. And then I also have this teriyaki um, sauce, Aloha brand, as well as some sesame oil. And then this one, the teriyaki stir fry udon, does come with four packets of teriyaki seasoning. I'll probably just use two. And then I'm going to open up all four so that the kids can have it for leftovers uh, tomorrow for lunch uh, during their Zoom classes. So tomorrow's a busy day with Zoom. And then I'm going to open this and rinse it out because I always rinse out the, the fresh noodles. And then, like I said, I use frozen organic peas and then shredded carrots from Trader Joe's. And then also um, some bok choy. Then I also have the rotisserie chicken from Costco. I don't think I have enough to be able to make their chicken um, salad sandwich. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get some put onto the udon all right so i got some chicken in there and then i just placed some olive i mean not olive oil but sesame store um yeah, some sesame oil and i can smell it now because it has like a nutty flavor into the middle you don't want to like really fry with sesame oil you'd want to fry with 
other oils and then add the sesame oil when it's almost cooked because sesame oils tend to burn. Okay, there you go. Now the bok choy. So then that way, if I do go, go for a walk with them, then um, dinner is already ready. Okay, added some pepper flakes, salt and pepper, and then just a little bit of salt because this is going to be salty. And then teriyaki sauce, and I don't even know if I'm going to add that seasoning because, like I said, I wanted to have that fresh, like fresh taste to it. But I do need the udon noodles because those udon noodles I actually got at Costco for like five dollars, and there's four packets in there. Really affordable. Yeah. Costco had a sale on these for four dollars, um, five dollars for the bag, and there's four individual meals, so I thought that was kind of worth it. And then I just do my own variations. So good. I have my veggie, separated it. I'm um, add a little bit more oil, and then a little bit, of, just a little bit of the garlic. And then I'm gonna put the noodles here and cook it separate, just in case I need to. Um, I don't like to mix it together when cooking. Um, just in case I need to cook the noodles longer, then I don't want my veggies to be overcooked. So see how green they are? That means they're just right. I'll add a little bit of water if I need to, but I don't think I'm going to put the, um, I'm not going to use these. I don't like these too much, and then when I have this one, I'd rather use this. that up and then once it's um, cooked a bit I'm gonna add just a little bit of water again just a little drizzle of the flakes and then the pepper no salt this time because I am going to add the teriyaki sauce and then you know that it's cooking when it's a bit more translucent and not a stiff okay. then just a little bit more Now, because the noodles are pretty much almost, almost cooked, because look how soft they are now and translucent, I'm going to go ahead and add the veggies. And you know what, friends? The, like, the udon that we buy at the, at this teriyaki place, they charge, like, for that amount, they charge $11 or $12, and barely any chicken. And look. For five dollars, I can feed a whole army. <laughs> okay, isn't that cool? Yep, and that's it. Okay. Where's Danica? Oh, she was pushing her bike earlier. She gave up on the hill. Look, there she is. <laughs> yeah, she has those. Uh, what do you call those? Those bikes? The uh, paddle, paddle bikes. I like that house right there, the color of it, the brown and the white. Okay, and then this is the plant that I always like. See? Come on, Java. This is where I always go for a walk with Miss Mary when she comes over. Look at that holly. Oh, and this is, I think, a magnolia. No, oh, this is, what is that? Oh, I forgot. Oh, look, the tree's budding. Oh, see, that's that one house. Wait, Danica. Java had an accident. Hey, and then, see, the look, they have a pick. Yeah, there's no one around, but there's a pickaboo. They have a pickaboo also. That's the same view of the water that I see in my studio or in my bedroom. Hmm. But it's pretty, pretty day. Oh, I think my camera's upside down. Hi, Java. Java finally got to go out. It's warm enough. Although last night was super cold. But look at all the bare trees. See, this is what we needed to do on the side front. That's why there was the blue tarp. We didn't have time. Oh. They're very nice. 
very friendly. Usually during springtime, they're out, always working on their garden. Hmm. Look at this driveway. I know I thought our driveway was kind of narrow and steep. Look at that one. Have you seen it? Look, look at the tree. Little, I've never seen this. That's so cute. Like, where yeah, have you been? Every single one of my family has seen it. Yes. I have never, never noticed it. We've been walking these streets for five years. All right, baby, make sure you stop at the stop sign. All right, I'm making Danica um, salmon, which I just saute in um, olive oil and salt and pepper and garlic. And then I have my, my usual, this is just my, I can't concentrate. <laughs> Look at Danielle. So this is the headband that I got from Daiso. And she borrowed it. And then let me see Danielle. This is the yes. Is it the yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The foaming one. Ooh, it's so pretty. You're so pretty. And then this is the tomato and then the zucchini that I always show you guys. And then yes, I mix it to add more flavor. 